Well, if you've been looking for not a dull moment, then you found it because we're with Chris. And Chris is at the 2023 Blade Show. He is the sole proprietor of Fine King Products. And if you look behind me, you'll see Fine King North America presents the Chef's Forge. And that's because at this booth, we got a little of everything. We've got American knife makers. We've got Japanese inspired designs, as well as Japanese authentic knives. So I'm gonna let Chris, the man himself, he's he's working the booth he's in the trenches he's gonna let us know what he's brought to blade show 2023 take it away chris thank you very much greg you're welcome Pleasure buddy. meeting you again he yeah, always you likes to by. talk to you online exactly and he's doing what we're doing he's always featuring knives he's showcasing knives on his instagram we're kind of in competition who's going to get what first <laughs> and he's doing it every day he's working hard so tell us what we've got over here first of all so starting down here is a company that i brought to north america it's a company called fine king a lot of the stuff that you see here has all been designed developed tested by myself as well as local georgia makers uh, and local georgia forgers uh, over here right here on this one is a knife i actually designed with them uh, it has it, it supports a pinch grip assist right up on the top there that is a protected design so nobody else over in China will be making any of that uh, this is also a protected design right over oh we sold it all right that's a bass it is okay that's, palm a to have. that's an okay palm to have uh, right here we do have Yanagiba it is a single bevel Yanagiba the edges on the front side is SKD 11 Japanese steel and moving on down the table, the reason, the way that we have the table set up is we have them in different regions. So when we move down, we'll start moving down into American custom made, which would be Rowling Cutlery right here. We also have an American knife making company, uh, knife roll company that is 100% hemp knife rolls called Greenleaf Culinary. And then we start getting into the Japanese cutting boards. Which we did an actual uh, entire episode too. One on the ultimate cutting board, comparing all cutting boards, as well as just synthetic cutting boards from Japan. Hasagawa was our favorite, so I see that. For those of you who don't know, the Hasagawa board has a wooden core, so it doesn't have to flex. The ones that are solid synthetic tend to be a little heavier. So I personally love the antimicrobial, antibacterial kind of a it's easy to keep the bacteria off of it situation. I love being able to throw it in the dishwasher. I hate to be lazy about it, but I will let you know if you're into knives. Uh, it's typically a slicer's heaven, not so much a rocker's heaven. I do want to point out one of the Fine King products Chris was talking about. For those of you who love their pinch grip, you will see this, this tapered from the back, kind of a finish really nice on the pinch grip to kind of not have an abrupt blockish kind of obtrusive uh, protruding edge. So really kind of sit and finish. We do have uh, a three layer design here with the Damascus. We still have a stainless steel core, as I remember in the chef knife. Um, we do still have like some futuristic inspired handle making as well. I definitely wanted to point that out. One of my biggest focuses for that one is I usually tell people, I ask them if you've ever played basketball without shoes on or socks on. Usually it's a recipe for a blister. It's kind of the same thing when chefs hold a knife in a pinch grip. Because that steel will lay right on your finger, it's an unforgiving point on your skin. So that's where your blisters and your calluses will form. With this, you're no longer sitting on steel. You're actually sitting on a part of the handle so that it's much more comfortable in your hand and you don't have to worry about blisters or any of that the uh, unnecessary things that you have going on there. Is this the Shindo? No, these right here are the Hatsu Kokuru Kumukage. It I, is the iron Damascus clad blue number two. Okay, blue number two. I, we, I love blue. And I am, we're loving this rolling cutlery. Again, he, that guy lives right up the road here from Blade Show. Um, and we were at his booth earlier. This beautiful, beautiful Kuritsuke. If you actually will make a, a link to the video we did with him earlier, he's got some hanyaki, he's got some mono steel, he's working with everything, making different chef's knives. He's got the Japanese style handle as well as the Western. And then let's segue on to the well, Japanese. I wanted to show you real quick a fun little aspect that we brought to this year's booth is we decided to do Japanese custom one-offs. So if somebody comes to the booth this year, they have the ability to buy a knife without the handle on it. I have also placed an order for just specifically Rowland cutlery handles and somebody can come to the booth, pair a knife and a handle together, buy them and then we'll set them for the very next day so they can come back. This will make this knife now a one-off complete Japanese custom. All 
right so we've even got some magnetic cutting boards i'm noticing yep magnetic block the racks yep is that something you're making? Is that a certain No, that is, that is a Fine King product. Okay. Uh, and then some of the other Fine King, I guess, extras we have would be right here. This is a magnetic wall rack. Is, it, is that have a dual magnet on it so the knife yes. doesn't? Okay. Yes. It's, they're very strong. We have them in three different sizes. We have 12 inch, 16 inch, and 18 inch. And price point on that? Uh, I'm curious for myself, actually. 50 for the 18, okay. uh, 45, 40 for the 16, and 35 for the, the Those the are some 12. amazing prices because I've looked upwards of 200. Let's go on around to the Japanese. We've got more knife rolls. There you go. I think it only comes so far. Appreciate you. No, no worries. Yeah, I got caught on the, yep. All right. So you guys have seen a lot of these knives on the show. We have definitely unboxed a lot of these knives. Uh, we've got one over here. I'll let him say the name for me because I don't want to butcher it. We have the knife. We just never shown it. So right here we have our Sunihisa Nami, and the Sunihisa Nami is a nickel-clad Damascus with an AUS-10 core. Uh, the fun thing about these though, typically the Namis will have a one uh, wooden maple handle. On these I had custom handles put on, and what I decided to do, especially for this one, was to go ebony with a bu black buffalo horn. And the reason why I did that is because it kept the aesthetic low on the handle. So it was a bit of a murdered out concept or blacked out concept because I really didn't want to take away from any of the aesthetic that's going on with the Jelly Roll Damascus. All right, so I'll just go ahead and quickly show you some stuff. You guys have definitely know on our show, the Whetstone Wars, we do the Mortataka Yuto. Typically the Yuto can come in AS. It can also come in just blue. You see the Shigeki um, Tanaka on our Witch Tanaka series. Um, definitely some beautiful knives, affordable prices, especially handleless. Um, this, uh, the CG finish, absolutely gorgeous. As you go through the Takamura knives, we believe that this is simply, if I had to buy the entire world one knife to put in every kitchen, this is the one that I would put in their hand. Western handle, red pocket wood, SG2, amazing steel. Some people say they chip. I have never had that problem. Segue on down. You definitely know this knife. This humongous Nakiri on our knife, white number one, it uh, amazing edge. It did bite and crack a little bit on the button of a uh, spaghetti squash. We've now learned to cut the buttons off spaghetti squash. <laughs> so we're not gonna blame the knife, we're gonna blame us. And as you continue on down, more Japanese knives, again, you guys can pair your own handle. This guy's doing it all. We're seeing everything from your basic handle to the more advanced. If you see something you like, hell, you can just let them know. He'll rehandle it before it leaves the shop. Can you let them know how they can get a hold of you? Is there certain websites? So basically for the Japanese, don't have a website quite yet. Uh, for Fine King, we do have a website built up. That's actually number one on the list once Blaze Show's done is to get the Japanese site up and running. Uh, we will have some handles on there as well. So if somebody wants to make and, and pair together. Um, the other fun thing I wanted to say is, so these ones, I've actually finished these handles. I burn them and then I stabilize them and wrap them. Uh, they are generally just magnolia handles. And so I like to kind of burn them, bring them a little darker aesthetic to them uh, and make them a little more fun than just general magnolia. You're, you're right, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Stabilizing then, um, at the same time. So, but the Fine King website is just Fine King USA. It's Fine King North America dot square dot site. Okay. And that is actually on my Instagram. Okay. And then, like you said, he's going to be working on the on the other. And you, again, you can check him out at Chef Up. Yep. On Instagram, make sure that the e. e is a three. Yes, sir. Second E is a three. All right, you guys, and he's always doing unboxings. He's letting you see it used in the kitchen. He's giving you his feedback. So if you want to know more about these knives, whether you check out with him or Never a Dull Moment official, I know that this was not a dull moment. We appreciate Chris. My pleasure. Pleasure to you. actually meet you. Thank you very Good much. Good luck at the 2023 Blade Show. For more content, stay with us as we continue to bring you more from this year's show. God bless.